Today, also, Vice President Harris is rolling out a, a new opportunity agenda, which she's calling it, aimed at black men. Joining us now, political correspondent and author of the Recast newsletter, Bracton Booker. Um, all right, so we talked about how Kamala Harris was in Pennsylvania doing this today. Give me a little bit more about the, um, the movement for one candidate or another. There's been a lot made of black men becoming more curious about Donald Trump. What have you found in your reporting? I think, I think that's the best way to put it, becoming more curious, right? Um, what we're seeing is that younger black men, just like younger voters overall, um, are not as beholden to uh, the Democratic Party as, as previous younger generations, right? Uh, how it's been explained to me by some researchers and by some uh, political scientists, they say, look, the further, especially when we're looking at, at black voters, the further you get away from the civil rights movement, the less inclined or less... Um, less attached to the Democratic Party and the, the victories won during the civil rights movement do, do black people feel attached to. And so, you know, it was not something that was too uncommon for, for folks who are now coming up into Gen Z, who are now voters, that, that they would have a black president, right, with President Obama coming into office in 2008. So this idea that, that their ancestors fought for these hard-fought wins uh, uh, resonate less with them, and they want to see how their lives are going to be improved uh, with one administration or another. And I think that's where you're seeing some of the um, weak spots with the, with the Harris campaign is that folks want to know what is going to be different for them uh, if Harris were to be elected. Can I ask you about, I mean, this is just still sticking with me, um, that one... Um... Uh, Republican um, uh, official or there, or Republican Party official trying to get black men to vote, saying that we are going to tell men, um, or men want to be in control of their own destiny. They want to control yeah. their own destiny. Everybody wants to control their own destiny. What do you think, what is that, what is he saying with that to men? When you're saying to black men, any men, you should be in control of your own destiny. Is there something else being said there? speaking to is like black men want to be able just like all men but black men especially want to be able to uh have equal access to capital and they want to have a level playing field for you know starting a business and uh, removing barriers to, to entry right um with some republican policies they're saying like hey well, our policies are colorblind as long as you have a good idea you have access to capital and you can get that business uh across the finish line up and you know out into the uh, public square where you can you can go out and compete. Democrats will also play up the the idea that look, we all, we know that things are not equal in this playing field. There's redlining. There's a history of uh, banks not giving that same kind of access to capital uh, to black and brown people. So it's it's an understanding of like history that that Democrats want to lean into. But I think what you are hearing from uh, the black Republican is that look. Trump, Trump's economy, Trump goes out and says, like, well, did you feel better when I was in office? Did you feel like you had more money in your pocket? Certainly, folks bring up this idea about the stimulus checks. Sometimes folks refer to them as stimmies, right, during mm -hmm. the pandemic that helped a lot of people. And I, I think Trump gets a lot of credit for not only just having his name on those stimulus checks that went out to people during the height of the pandemic, but he gets credit for selling it as if it was his idea. Now, Democrats will go and say, like, this was not his idea. Give me a break. Congress had to pass this. Uh, we should be getting credit as, you know, members of Congress should be getting credit for this. Um, but I don't see Democrats selling that message as, as directly yeah. as some Republicans do. So I think that is what he's speaking to. He's like, you feel better because there were policies that Trump highlighted that makes you feel like it was a better uh, economy for black folks.